what's up guys my name is Neff and for this video we're gonna be talking about cost like how much it will cost to make a YouTube gaming channel and when I say gaming channel um, it's mostly PC games since I don't have a console I, it's been a while since I played on a console or bought I think I never bought a console to be honest so yeah um, this video will cover the games I played on YouTube and my entire build like for my entire desktop and I think I, I did buy some games but I never had a chance to play them um, I bought Neo for PC I didn't play it I have Dark Souls 1 to 3 but I've never played it I haven't played it yet on my YouTube channel so yeah so um, I guess I'm gonna start with my build um if you scroll down and check the description for every video i have it will show you my build um, from the computer like from the processor monitor even the mouse mouse mat i'll even i even have it there it's weird i think it's weird but that's uh i don't know what else i can put it in the description so yeah they're there uh, my older videos will have my old build like the build when i started out doing youtube i don't know the prices i lost the receipts and so i can't really discuss that but the, um, i think the only part i remember or at least the price is my graphics card um, i was using an rx or sapphire rx 570 it's an 8 gigabytes version factory overclocked that when i bought it it was twenty six thousand ten pesos now, i'm not gonna pretend like i know how much it is in us dollar i have no idea so with the help of where is it um not gonna show you that yet i put this on a different window yeah this one yeah move move over so if you so i'm good i'm gonna use this website they don't know who i am that this is the only one i i found um but it's the easiest so i tested it out and i clear this usually um one peso i'm sorry uh, one dollar is around the range of 50 to 51 peso uh, i think the lowest was 45 pesos per us dollar you can convert the amounts or the prices i'm going to show you to the currency of your country unfortunately um, as you know foreign exchange they do change the prices um, i'm not sure if they change every day but that's something i'm not an expert of so just for the rx 570 when i bought it i bought it was um, the time with all the bitcoin mining was happening so it was expensive so if you change 26,010 um it was 500 holy shit really that was a 500 oh okay i didn't even know this <laughs> surprise anyways we're gonna go back here um i'm gonna start with my build first so you know how much my computer costs um i i'm only playing and recording on one computer some youtubers I, i'm not gonna include myself i don't see myself as a youtuber i'm just another guy uploading videos on youtube so yeah some popular gamers yes um they have a console connected to their computer using the elgato screen capture or capture thingy so it's yeah again i don't have a console so i don't know how it will cost console no this again this is purely pc so for my build we're gonna start with this beautiful notepad right here i don't have microsoft windows installed or anything i don't have it so this is my entire build um gonna show you the website where i bought it and for me um since i'm from the philippines um i have two shops that i prefer the most my most trusted shops 
PC Hub at Gilmore, Philippines, and DynaQuest PC. I'm gonna have to say, like it says here, none of these parts are sponsored. I bought them with my own money. I have a job. What I'm doing YouTube and DynaQuest PC, PC Hub, Gilmore. They don't know who I am. I'm just another customer. All right, just to clear things out. Now I'm gonna show you first the website for DynaQuest PC. I tried to look for the parts. Um, of course, the price might have changed, but starting off with the case. Why do I have Overwatch open? Oh yeah, um, there's a reason why. I'm gonna put you in another window. Um, for the price of the case, this is it. This is the exact same price, four thousand seven hundred eighty. Again, that's Philippine peso. Actually, I forgot to put it here, right there. And my motherboard, when I bought it, this a uh, MSI X four seventy Pro Carbon or Gaming Pro Carbon, whatever. I bought it for ten thousand four hundred fifty. Um, Ryzen, when I bought this, it was a few months before, oh no, not a few months. I bought this around January of 2019. This is how much it cost me. Right there, I bought it. I know I bought it cash, but it was expensive. But this is how much I spent. Um, I have the receipt, but I'm not going to show you, of course. I'm not going to show you my receipts. They're hidden for warranty purposes. Uh, oh. I stand up this one i bought yeah also last year um i was using a cryo cryo rig quad lumi it wasn't enough my computer overheats so i replaced that with an aio so here it is but cost me 9610 um this one i bought these i bought at the concept store for amd this one i bought oh no this one these two i bought at DynaQuest PC. This one I bought at uh, PC Hub Gilmore. Same with the RAM. I have 32 gigabytes of memory now. When I first bought the, the first pair, it cost me 10,650. My memory costs more than my motherboard. Like, holy crap. <laughs> I didn't even realize it until I checked the, the receipt. But when I bought one just two weeks ago was it just two weeks ago yeah uh, february 17 2020 i bought them the price did drop so it's now 6910 and this is the one specific for amd um usually if there's a tzr or there they have a certain code for amd specific memory it will cost you more but i'd rather be safe than sorry yeah this one i bought the, the graphics card, I'm using an RX 2070 Super Game X Trio from MSI. It cost me 34500 This one I also bought last week. Um, around, I think the 21st of February? It was a Saturday. Yeah, it was Saturday. Bought this. Um, cost me 5700 um, this one I bought, I think, PC Express because I was looking for it. It was out of stock for both Gilmore, or I'm sorry, um, PC Hub and DynaQuest PC. Um, same with this. So, cost for the Kingston is 3335 Same thing here. Um, this is the basis, but this was the exact same price. I think it, but I can't remember if it was cheaper, but same price, around 3000 the crucial for PC Express was around this range as well. Um, the 2,999 Philippine Peso. Um, the WD or Western Digital Blue hard drive or HD is actually cheap. I remember I bought it at this around this price as well, 1,990. Um, this one, I don't think you can find a G24C anymore in the Philippines. It's usually MAG or MAG. 24c i bought it i bought two so it's 12,190 each I'll put there each for this um this one i bought last month so january around last week of january this is for both the um, keyboard the tkl keyboard 
and the PBT keys so you know you can replace the keys more RGB yeah RGB <laughs> um, this one is the Logitech G102 um, gaming mouse I love this mouse if this breaks I'm gonna buy another one um, cash uh, yeah I bought it cash 970 pesos Philippine peso speakers I can't remember the, um, the model anymore so might as well remove that mouse mat from Red Dragon I love this um, just 450 pesos it's really cheap these ones i bought from i should have noted it here galeon on dot ph now i did send them an email when i started my channel i was so happy with the purchase um I, it was bought online and it was supposed to arrive around three to four weeks to arrive almost two weeks it was really fast um, so some of my older videos, um, I mentioned it like I bought it off of them. Uh, I'm not sure if you can buy um, the MXL 770 here in the Philippines. I searched for about a month. Different stores. I can't find one. I just can't find one. Yeah. Now, um, foam also, galeon.ph. Um, you can search their website if you want to um for pc hub they have an online price list um i think i'll link them all in the description even the website for dyna quest if ever they find this video and they want me to remove their links i'd be more than happy to just reach out to me dyna quest pc hub and galeon.ph i'm okay with it so yeah um what else foam and windscreen it's so hard to find the just a pop filter cover whatever on the microphone here in the philippines it took me i was searching for three weeks like seriously damn same with the mic stand god damn it anyways so here, here's the price so we're now going to bring out the calculator calculate the prices let me minimize you make you a bit thinner mystery eh meh okay, i'm going to move you aside going to move this so starting with the, um, the case for 780 uh yeah then oh, for 780 then plus um motherboard so at that time and again this is the prices when i bought them chances are the price already dropped for the x4 for the msi x470 pro carbon if you're from the philippines you're gonna have a very hard time finding this they're all all the boards are now x570 i know i searched around when i was in gilmore um if you're from if you're in the philippines or if you're a foreigner and you go here to the philippines if you're within the metro manila area you want to build a computer the place to be is gilmore Quezon City, um, Gilmore, Aurora, Quezon City, Philippines. Go there. If you can ride a cab, just say Gilmore, um, Aurora, near Saint. What's the school? Saint Luke's. Saint Peter. I can't remember the school, but there's a, um, a school right next to it. I can't remember the school. I'm sorry. But again, I'm um, going back to the prices. And again, this is how much when I bought them. Again, prices drop. The the 2700X I know now is around 8880 Philippine peso. That's how much it is now. So, but again, since that's how much it was when I bought it, um 18590 plus um CPU cooler nine six one zero plus ten thousand six hundred fifty for the first pair of ram then eight thousand nine hundred ten for the second pair um graphics card three thousand four hundred fifty or three thousand thirty four thousand five hundred plus power supplier psu five thousand seven hundred plus we're getting there <laughs> okay three thousand three hundred thirty 
2,899 plus 1,990 plus um, that's I'm just gonna enter it twice. 12,190. I should have totaled it. Plus again. Oh. Yeah. Um, 12,190. Plus. I'm gonna note that down. I'm at 1, 2, 3, 8, 9, 4. Just in case I make a mistake and delete. Like, holy shit. Uh, where am I at? Oh, the monitors. Yeah. Then we're not gonna go to the keyboard. I know it's not important for the keyboard and the mouse, but at least you know everything I'm using, like how much, right? Here. Uh, seven, two, four, five, plus um, 970 for the Logitech G102, plus um, Red Dragon mouse mat, 450 pesos. I think that's the cheapest in this list. <laughs> Plus, this is my entire desktop. So total is four one hundred forty-two thousand five hundred fifty-nine. Oh, but here, total. You see in very very else. Wait, I spelled it wrong. I'm sorry. I'm sorry okay i'm sorry now as for i'm gonna clear this see uh, disregard that crap um trash there you go so we're now gonna compute the audio interface the mic the headphones oh uh, my bad all headphones i didn't buy it from galeon.ph i bought it from audio file something um i'm gonna think about putting their the link to their facebook account but again they're from the philippines i'm gonna ask him first he's a good guy great customer support great after sales i recommend his shop if you're gonna buy headphones earphones and stuff um even digital audio players great place great place anyways um again i'm gonna ask for his permission if he doesn't agree um not gonna put it here but yeah if ever you watch this i think i'll send you the video if ever you agree great store i'm gonna buy a dx a boss dx160 from you someday not now just looking at this price yeah <laughs> anyways um peripherals and everything else um audio stuff start with the headphones um 3125 or 3125 again that's philippine peso what the heck why did you start there? Memory. Nothing memory. Again, um, 3,125 plus um, XLR. This is actually cheap. So it cost me only 500. The XLR to XLR. Uh, I forgot the brand. Oh, yeah. It's here. Hosa. <laughs> I'm sorry. Plus um, the audio interface is actually expensive. So that's 6,980. I forgot the red one, Sapphire, I think it's in, it's called. I think it costs more. So plus that's a price. Um the mic six thousand two hundred and fifty-nine plus pop filter. Seventeen thousand. If I add the mic stand, it's gonna be one uh, no one thousand five hundred. That's how much for the audio setup. Just to remove the spaces. I added the spaces so you can see the prices. I should have. Yeah, I don't have Microsoft Windows. I don't. Just no. I don't have anything else. I'm gonna put this here. Um, this is total of. Yeah, I'm lazy. Let me do this. Copy. Paste. And the man who invented copy paste cut. He's, he passed away so god bless his soul he's now in a better place um 19,464 total audio so if i add this i'm gonna hit plus 
142559 overall total this is philippine peso my friends philippine peso so if we go back to our trusty conversion uh, i'm gonna clear this all right so you just i think i can copy paste this can i copy hey i can this is from philippine peso to us dollar that's everything the build everything so i'm gonna put here the price overall is um the us dollar three one seven six point zero nine us dollar i'm using us dollar as the basis because um if you go overseas for example we went to japan or uh, we were yeah went to japan december 5 to december 10 of 20 is it 2017 i think 2017 yeah 2017 i can't remember if it's 2017 2018 i'm sorry but if you go there and you exchange philippine peso to japanese currency they will convert philippine peso to u.s dollar first then from u.s dollar to japanese yen so it's like u.s dollar is kind of the basis for some foreign exchanges it's gonna be cheaper if you exchange philippine peso to japanese yen in the philippines so a tip for those filipinos who wants to travel to um to japan so yeah and this is the exchange rate as of february 25 2020 again price might change depending on exchange rate so from here just so we have an amount of so we have this yeah i can actually copy paste you yeah um this copy paste this arrow thingies yeah you don't know how convenient copy paste is we all take it for granted back in the day just library you have to go to the library you have an assignment you have to copy now you can copy paste and print it yeah and jesus christ back in the day back in my day right okay so this for the audio thingies 300 and yeah yeah so if you round this off give or take 382 dollars or us dollar um yeah but at least you know the exact price down to the point usd now this is just my build it doesn't even involve the games yet and i've already been talking for 23 minutes <laughs> ah here we go okay now i went to pc pc part picker so you have an idea of i'm gonna close you i don't need you anymore just in case so at least you will know how much it's gonna be if you build my computer with all the parts here it is and again i'm from the philippines i'm not gonna pretend like i've been to the united states and i know how much each part is gonna be and this is the this is the prices as of now okay um, i've been to indonesia australia singapore hong kong and japan that's in certain order that's in order but i've never been to the united states so yeah so this is the price for the amd everything here uh, i'm not sure i if i can save this or something um I, i'm not sure if this will work but here it is you can pause the video if you want to but here it is so the parts total cost is 200 or sorry 2271.51 um us dollar i'm assuming it's us dollar there it is it, it this is actually a great website it's a great website it even has the estimated wattage for me for the watts um i actually use the psu calculator you can just google psu calculator you'll you can do the same thing in terms of the parts but here it is so if you compare that to my notepad 
almost the same, right? I just what twenty dollars something difference, right? Right, and this is including the mouse, the keyboard, the monitors. Um, I didn't add the headphones since that's that's audio. I didn't include it. And I can't find a website that I can use to sh show the price in terms of audio. Maybe you can go to Amazon. You can search the, um, the parts one by one. But yeah, here it is. Took a while to compute my entire build, I guess. So here we go. Each, each part. There it is. Prices, I saved it. Now let's go to the games. I played and bought on this channel. Um, let's start off with Overwatch. That's one of the first games I played here. I only bought the 19 version, the standard one. I liked it. I played the free trial every December. They have a free trial. Um, I bought the $19.99. So I'm going to get this out again. I'm going to change it. Swap it. I'm going to delete you. Just to make sure it's everything's clear to $19.99 US dollar to Philippine peso is $1,000. Yeah, I think I, I remember this how my, around how much I paid for it. $1,019 or I think $1,100 something Philippine peso. So that's their Overwatch. Don't need you anymore. I'm going to close you. Now, um, the games I have. Um, the only ones I didn't buy because it was for free when I bought the 2070 Super. It was a, a promo for NVIDIA. It was Control and Wolfenstein. The latest Wolfenstein, the sisters. I forgot the title, I'm sorry. But the latest Wolfenstein game, those are for free. Aside from that, all the games I played, I bought them. Uh, most of them I bought, but it was on sale um and we're just this is not in in order when i played them or we'll start off i did i know it's lazy but i did bear out my name invoice but at least you can see the amount um the arkham collection this is composed of arkham asylum arkham city arkham knight yeah arkham i know um arkham origins i think yeah Arkham Origins, those were the first three. Arkham Knight, I know, is sold separately. So, 552. Um, where's my calculator? Should have closed you. Here we go. So, 552. Plus. Next. Oh, okay. It's Arkham Origins that's separate. So, Arkham Knight is included there. Arkham Origins plus Sekiro Shadows Knight twice. So, here. So. 124.98 again this is in price of philippine peso um epic game store doesn't have a way to adjust to philippine peso it's it's the prices are in philippine i'm sorry us dollar but since i paid using my credit card um it will be changed to um philippine peso and there are cases you will see here I have money in Steam wallet. I'm thinking if I should make a video about how you can earn money on Steam. Again, that's a completely different video. So again, not you. Here. One, two, four for the Arkham Origins. This was on sale. This is on sale. Three games. That price? Oh yeah. Again, plus. Um two seven ninety-nine plus next game bioshock this is bioshock the first one the remastered version of the first bioshock games bioshock 2 and the third bioshock so all three bioshock games included on this that's plus 393.75 again i bought this while it was on sale um best tip i can give is if you're gonna buy a game in steam buy it on while it's on sale especially the old ones they go really cheap um, this one is from Epic Games, so Borderlands released this year. So if we're gonna change that from, um, that was four forty four ninety nine. 
2295.36 yeah that's 2295.36 plus next picture borderlands game of the year um i know this includes borderlands the first borderlands game the pre-sequel and um borderlands 2 so really cheap 189.98 this is again on sale or it was on sale cuphead i'm playing this game love this game hard as hell but i love the game 99.95 plus not done yet we're 30 minutes in this video so this is devil may cry 5 just released this year or last year it is it, it has a lot so this is going to be two pictures i'm sorry i'm going to skip this for now but actually it's here yes <laughs> this is the second part see here uh yeah two 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 five nine i actually regret buying devil may cry 5 as like the the deluxe version it's Mostly because of the red orbs, the 100,000 red orbs took the fun of the out of the game. Yeah, anyways, let's do 529.01. Again, nine. I know this was also on sale when I bought Doom. This is the Doom 2016. I have the Doom internal on my wish list. Ha, ah, I'm waiting a few weeks away it's gonna be march next week dying light um i cannot find no receipt or anything from my email when i bought this but when i bought the game it was the original price which is 999.99 pesos so that's one centavos more and it's a thousand pesos but yeah anyways um 999.99 plus then was sacrifice i love this game i wish um, they just released a part two plus they just add another one i'm gonna subtract i'm sorry let me divide you by two yeah that's where we were we we're at it added another one it doubled this so yeah um plus so if you press plus twice i think it's gonna add or add it the amount twice 0. 0.95 plus the nightmares i love this game and code bane that is 495 plus Two seven nine nine point ninety five. <laughs> always a point ninety five. Usually the point ninety five or the ninety five, the centavos, something to do with tax. Yeah. Next, Metro. Love that game also. One of the best games ever made. It's an old game, but it still compares or can still match with. Oh, what the heck! What did I just do? What? What? Oh, I didn't press plus yet. Is that the price of Sekiro? Oh yeah, I know. Code Bane. Plus. Right there. Um, four ninety five. Four nine five. Plus Code Vein two seven ninety nine. Plus hey, it's gone. Okay. Let me repeat that. I'm sorry. This is my problem here. This, um, I'm gonna see. So I'm gonna start here. Fifteen thousand. Apologize. Eight hundred thirty-two point ninety-two. And I was adding the nightmares plus two seven ninety-nine point ninety-five. Plus, why does it 
Oh crap, yeah, it's my keyboard. One six three two seven point ninety-two. Thank god this new calculator has a memory. Um two seven nine nine point ninety-five plus I said better use touch that. Did I go here already? Did I add you already? Did I mess up? I'm looking at you. Why is this you? Oh no, yeah, I haven't added that yet. So again, um, we're gonna go back. So plus one, two, seven. Point forty eight. I'm sorry. I'm I really suck at math. I had to repeat algebra in college three times. <laughs> I'm that bad. Um, it's actually this is also on sale when I bought it. So again, that's one two seven point forty eight plus. This one is the Metro Exodus from Epic Games. I hate Epic Games. So I'm never buying anything from you guys again unless I don't have a choice. Login issues. Um, this is fifty four ninety nine. So we're just gonna change you to five. Take the and yep two eight. Gonna make sure two eight zero nine sorry zero four point ninety equals. Another picture, yeah, that's the end of it. Oh, yeah, um, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I also regret buying Shadow of the Tomb Raider on a deluxe version. I never played the DLC, I don't think I'll ever play the DLC. Um, I like Tomb Raider, but that game is just full of bugs. Seriously, the only game, the only Tomb Raider reboot that doesn't have bugs is the first one. So, we're gonna add. Four zero seven zero point sixty five. Another one. Nope, that's the last picture. Okay. In terms of games, that's total amount for games. Okay. Um, if we change this to from Philippine peso to US dollar, total amount is gonna be 514. Again, if you round this, this is gonna be 515 US dollar. This, again, the arrow thingy, and put USD. Okay, so if we total these, if we add them, Let's add it first in Philippine peso, okay? Then we'll convert it to US dollar. So that's one six two zero twenty three plus two six two five eight point thirty eight. Convert this. Here, total two years, almost two years, and in US dollar, that's this much. So, this is how much it cost me. For doing YouTube since June 23, 2018. Now, if a gamer, a streamer, or a YouTuber is playing the same game again and again, for example, this person is just playing, say, PUBG, Dota 2, Fortnite, those are the popular ones, right? Um, Halo, Apex Legends, um, what else? Uh, Minecraft, they're actually saving on money. Because them compared to people like me or gaming channels like me, I have to buy games so I have something to upload. 
now this is just for a gaming channel imagine those who are doing vlogging channels right they buy cameras that are really expensive microphones um they can't some just use a selfie stick some have like the stand with the stabilizer and stuff i looked up the prices of those things they're very expensive they're really expensive now i'm gonna be honest with you here um my graphics card is i use my credit card i'm still paying for this i'm not rich okay you can see the amount of money but i'm not rich i'm still paying for this credit card credit card credit card for the second part now when i first built this going back february last year um 2019 um it was a combination of four months worth of my salary my 13 month pay i'm not sure about other countries but here in the philippines um we have a 13 month pay it's a bonus so the amount you'll get is equivalent to your basic salary so no allowances none of those additional things then we also had a bonus um aside from the 13th month so everything i think i started saving up since october actually more than four months since october november december january february that's around five months so five months worth of my salary i'm um, not my whole salary of course i have bills to pay utilities rent my dogs I have to feed them i have to feed myself some food all those stuff um so yeah this is how much it's gonna be in us dollar at least a rough estimate if you're gonna start a youtube gaming channel i know this is 41 minutes but i hope this will give you an how or at least an idea on how much you might end up spending if you're gonna start a gaming channel of course again you can just keep playing the same game again and again and again and again but yeah that won't work for me Whew, that's a really long video it's been a while but anyways i hope you like this if you have any questions link and uh, just leave a comment if you like what you see press the like button you can subscribe to my channel so you can also dislike this if you want to um i'll try to re to respond to the comments uh, unfortunately i stopped receiving email if someone leaves a comment i only get the notification at the bell for youtube if someone leaves a comment so yeah again if you want to see this is it again i don't know how to save this i'm sorry i'm not this is the first time i use pc part picker it's legit the first time i started filling this out when i started the before i started the video so here it is last look again this is the price as of february 25 2020 prices might increase or change depending on the demand in the market let me close these again like and subscribe thank you for watching i want to get to at least 100 subscribers before i quit doing youtube i'm only gonna do this for give or take um five to six years maximum i mean imagine the cost right i'm getting old there's no way i can keep spending this much money and i'm what when i'm old so yeah i'm probably gonna be a retired gamer i guess most of us is gonna be <laughs> anyways thank you and i hope you have a good day or a great day or a good one i don't know where you're from so yeah thank you